In this video, we're going to be taking this FMOD example track and implementing it into Unity using the Carding Microgame template. First thing you need to do, if you haven't yet, head over to Unity.com and download the Unity Hub. You'll need to create an account, log in. Once you have that installed, it should look something like this. All right, next we're going to start a new project. Click on the New Project button. You should see the carding micro game. So select that, give it a project name, and pick your location where you want to place this. I believe you can do this with most editor versions, most recent ones, anything newer than 2019. So I'm actually using a version that I already have installed on my machine. This will take a while to load. So now our carding micro game is loaded. So we're going to get rid of this tutorials tab. We are going to close out of here. So let's play the game first, make sure everything is as we think it should be. All right, let's go ahead and disable the background music for now. Click over here in our hierarchy on the background music object. And over here on the right, let's deselect audio source. So now what do we play? All right, now we're ready to download FMOD. If you haven't yet, head over to FMOD and download FMOD Studio. This is the GUI interface that we looked at previously. And right now they're on version 2.02. .02. The most important thing is that FMOD Studio and FMOD Engine, which, we, which we'll get to, uh, are both, the, the major version is the same, 2.02, 2.02. .02. So you don't want to mix 2.02 .02 with 2.01 .01 down here by accident. Things will not line up that way. And possible best to go with a Unity verified build as well. So let's make sure you get that. So download FMOD Studio and then install it. The first time you open it after installing, you'll see the examples project. So we're going to open up that, that project. So once you've opened it, do save as in a different location. So any changes we might make won't save over, won't save directly over uh, the original version here. So for me, I have this disk called source and I have an FMOD directory put in 2023 FMOD examples. That's where I saved mine. So now that we've made a copy either Open FMOD itself, or you can navigate to where you saved your copy and just double click on the FMOD project file. We're gonna to need to know that location later on when we point Unity there. So uh, just to confirm, everything still plays. We're gonna to go to our writing, writing more engine. All right. Thing still looks good. So if we go to our Directory, we can see there's the build folder is empty. So we need to build the banks so we can tell Unity where the banks are and it can load them into the game. So go under File, Build, and it built the whole project. So, but we're just going to be using the ride mower, writing mower for now. And so if we go under Build folder, we now have all these files that Unity will be loading. Next thing we need to do is head over to the Unity Asset Store, and I'll put this link in the description, and we need the FMOD for Unity plugin. So be sure you're logged in here, and this should say Add to My Assets. So click that, and then once you see the Open in Unity, you can go ahead and click on that as well. Make sure you have your Unity project opened, so it will open up in the correct project. After you click it, the Package Manager should open up, for any reason it doesn't, you can go to Window Package Manager. We can see FMOD for Unity. So here's where you can confirm 
the number. We've downloaded the 2.02 for the FMOD Studio, and this is the integration package, which is also 2.02. So just good to confirm those two uh, major numbers line up. So I've already downloaded this before. So if I didn't, it would say install. So I go ahead and install. And once it's installed, you can say import and you get this page. And we are going to say import. That'll take a little while, but once it's done, our FMOD dialog should pop up. At this point, we can just click on the package manager and close that. So we get our welcome window. We can say start. Here we want to reorganize the plugin files and update the event references. So we can say next. And we want this first option, the FMOD Studio project. At this point, we're going to navigate to where we put that FMOD project before. So I have my FMOD folder, FMOD examples, and just click on your FMOD project. Say open. And it'll tell you the path to where that project is. And every project needs one listener minimum. So we already have Unity listener. So we are going to remove this and replace it with an FMOD audio listener. So click replace. And now we have one listener on the main camera. And now because we're using FMOD audio, we want to disable the built-in Unity audio. So we'll click on that. So this is a list of all the Unity audio sources that the game currently has. So we'll need to replace all these with FMOD components. So, but we'll come back to that. So for now, we can just click next. So this page is giving us some commands for, um, for source control options. So we're not doing any source control right now. So we can ignore that. Click next. So this looks good. This is the Unity sources that we were going to address later on. So everything else looks good. So now we can close the setup wizard. So if you want, you can go over to the console, hit clear. Just make sure the game still plays. We'll be getting some audio errors. All right, game still plays. Makes no sound, that is to be expected. So to add the engine, we need to find uh, this cart, this cart object. So we're going to click on Cart Classic Player and then click on Arcade Engine Audio. So now if we go to our event, here we'll be seeing all the same events that we saw before in the actual FMOD project. So you can see these are all our, our events over here. Our event folders, the actual events. Click the search. We can see it all corresponds. We're open vehicles and select our right on mower. Double click on that. So now that is our event. For our initial parameter, we want to select RPM. Click on the arrow, set this to 1000. So this RPM parameter is this parameter right here. So we're setting the default to be 1000 right there. So now if we play the game, we should hear the engine with the default value of 1000. So as you can hear, we can hear the engine, but it does not react to the moving around of the player. So that's the next thing we're going to work on. So we want to hook this RPM parameter up to the speed of the cart, the physics of the cart moving. So but in order to, to let FMOD be controlled by the scripting within Unity, we need to, we need to add uh, one more reference. Let's go down to our project window and go to assets, carding. I like mine in, like my views and list view. So I'm going to make 
the icon is the smallest, so they go to list view. We'll go to scripts, and then we select cart game. Over here in the assembly definition references, we're going to click plus, click on the target icon, and then select FMOD Unity. Double click that. Then go to the bottom of the inspector and click apply. And if this window pops up, it's okay to close it out for now. I don't want to permanently close it because I might be coming back to it later. Okay, so now we want to update one of our scripts so we can use the audio, the FMOD audio engine and attach it to, to the player. So this can be found at the FMOD site or I'll make it available below. So we're going to find the script edit arcade engine where we were before. So arcade engine audio is the script we want to edit. So you can either double click here and find the script over here and double click or under the menu, you can say edit script. And either one of these, this is when your IDE will open. So if you have an IDE associated with Unity, it will open up in that uh, program. If not, it'll, it'll open up in your default text editor. So for me, I have JetBrains Rider installed as my editor. So it's asking me if I want to trust this game. And I do trust it. So I'm going to trust and open. So this is the file arcade engine audio.cs that creates this entire component. So we're going to be replacing all of this with the FMOD version. So I'm going to go find the version and copy and paste that code directly into here. We hit save. FMOD is giving me the setup wizard dialog again. All right, now we can play the game again. Hopefully our RPMs will be responding. And yeah, you can hear it responding to the starting and stopping of the cart, speeding up, slowing down. That's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and add a, uh, a minimum value as well to the engine. We added a, a starting point before, a default. So let's add one more. Go back to our cart classic player, arcade engine audio. For our minimum RPM, let's say it's 500. So looking at F mod, it means our cart won't get below here. And there are two ways to do this. We can either type it into this box here, or we could actually go back into the code and change this minimum RPM. So that's what's creating this entry box here. Minimum RPM is this float variable here. Minimum RPM is public, so it shows up. So we can change it in either spots. So change it here, just hit save again, and Unity will update, or you can just type it in here. Let's try that out. Yeah, so that gets us our idle back. So that's a good chunk of work. Uh, next time we'll look at updating some more of these events.